Hello everybody, Azumi here again, and I'm doing Anger Buddha Strikes S2. First up in my party is going to be Ulan. And I'm using her because she won't get feared if she's in the front row. And, you know, the Fortune Hammer Resuscitation, this for skill gauge up, more resuscitation, and just flat healing. If I don't have her set up like that, she tends to die a lot. Um, then I'm using Vidar. And I've got him basically set up a lot of the same way. I, I love this combination of the Fortune Hammer and the Feather Blades. I'll use those every time if I can. And Vidar is mainly here for his um, passive Aqua Breaker. It's everybody 20% damage against Yotun and water damage 20%. So that is really powerful against Anger Boda. Then Erd, which third position is bad for her because she doesn't have Eclipse Field, so... Got to keep that in mind. And then Radgrid, I get the names mixed up. Um, she also has a decent passive, but I'm not really utilizing it to the fullest because I'm a, she's the only airborne one that I'm using, so that's really only going to affect her. And I have her set up with her X and regular SP as well as the costume. And this is kind of just filler. Having more than two of these in a fight makes them just filler anyway, so. And then Envy, basically for the shield and the quick, and I got the mermaid bikini because it does buffs, but that's really not going to help all that much. Um, Boda tends to cancel that out with her auto skill. The Sunshade Assassin, just because it's new and I wanted to use it. Um, the Yormangan bow, which is still amazing, and nothing else, else too special. Genie lamp's not a good choice, but whatever. So here we go. Anger Boda strikes S2 multi solo. So Empress Angry Booty, that's what I call her. Um, is in the magic row and is Yotun and is airborne. Now, we've covered all this before, but I'm just going to go over it again just for something to talk about. Um, the action skill is Ruinous Ray, which is 150% magic attack damage to the three nearest enemies and fear for three turns to all enemies. And the fear effect applies to humans and Therians. Her auto skill is going to be... Fire magic attack damage and burn for 6 turns and eclipse field to all heroes in the connect battle. Burn applies to all races. So if you're fast enough you can trigger your limit break and cancel out her auto skill and not have to worry about his clips as much. The clips cancel. The additional effect at S2, um, you're, she uses exhaust and fire wound to all heroes and makes herself immune to stat debuffs and the fire wound hits all races and exhaust only applies to humans and Therians so um, the most effective element is water and second best is going to be light as I said before she has eclipse field and the her damage schematic is basically the heaviest damage to the nearest three because that's what that little laser beam or whatever she does actually hits is the front three so it might be necessary to keep people who are not have eclipse field instead of doing like i do and have erd in the front three who's going to keep getting hit by it and also has eclipse but my gear's good enough to where i don't have to worry about it my my health does get really low but it's fine um now to the crystals the magic row which is the same row as angry voda has a 50% shield and magic attack up and quick for two turns to Anger Boda. So, might want to get rid of those pretty quick. That that quick effect in the shield can be pretty nasty sometimes. The back row, the ranged row of crystals, has, is inflicts the flame field. So, if you get rid of those, flame field goes bye-bye. And also inflicts magic attack damage and fear for three turns to the front hero. And fear applies to Aesir, humans, and Therians. That's why I'm using um, Ulan up front because she, normally I would have done... And I used to do it with Thrud, but she kind of gets trashed. 
And on S2, the flame field is high flame field instead of regular. So um, some of the other characters people have used are going to be that I'm not using are Thrud. Um, Musician Art's pretty good. She kind of blocks fire damage. Um, sea God Ran, Shui Ran, Bara. Uh, mainly I'm using my team is because Vidar actually has Yotun Killer. And Ran Grid, which I, yeah, Rad Grid, I get them. The names mixed up there's only one letter difference it has airborne killer so that affects makes the damage higher to the crystals and anger boda herself because she's also airborne so yeah that, that's about it really i've covered anger boda before but this is just s2 multi solo so i changed my team up just a little bit from before now like, like as you can see Erd does get a little bit low because she's standing in the front three but all I have on her as you seen before was a lot of um, healing gear and stuff like that so chances are she's probably not gonna die there's been a couple instances where anger Boda with that quick will spam the same attack multiple times and end up killing her just be wary of that if you have anybody that doesn't have Eclipse in the front in the front three. And we're almost done here. Come on, hit her with that. See, the problem is, is if it uses the Dars or and or Ulan's limit break every time, then it's way better than any of the other ones. So. But Radgrid usually does pretty good because she hits the back row. And she got MVP. And I can't see who did the most because it's multi-solo. But anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching.